This bag has gotten me out of all sorts of jams. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. So after I posted that modular go bag video, a lot of you were asking me to do more in depth on the individual modules. And that's what we're going to do today. This particular bag here has saved my bacon more than once. Let's jump over to the workbench and take a look at all the components that I keep in this bag. All right, so this is the bag in question. This is made by BUBM, however you say that. This exact model is no longer available, but they do have ones very similar to it. I'll leave it down in the description if you guys are interested. This particular one has two different zippered compartments. So one on what I call the front, and then another one on the back. And you can see that this one, the uh, zipper pulls have long been broken off. And I just replaced that with a little bit of paracord to make it a little easier to open and close the bag. Let's go ahead and open up the back of this bag though and take a look at what we've got inside. Now, first thing I want to point out is what's on this side here. Remember, this is a solutions bag, so I need it to solve all kinds of problems. One of the things I run into is if I'm working on something like the tailgate of the truck, I never have a good mouse pad. So what I did is I just took this little flap over here, cut a piece of cardboard, and slid it right into that flap, and then used the Velcro closures to keep it nice and tight in there. Now I've got a really solid surface back here that works as a perfect quasi mouse pad when I need it. In addition to that, I've got two sections of coax over here. Both of those are BNCs on both ends. Both of these are roughly six feet in length. In addition to that, you can probably see right here, I keep a barrel connector so that if I want to put these two pieces together to come up with a 12 foot length, I can do that. Next up in the case is a USB-C to USB-C cable. This is a uh, fairly long one. I think it's three, maybe four feet long. This one will do video and audio, so that's why it's kind of separated out back here. Not all USB-C cables are created equal, and it's good to know which ones can do what. Last thing I've got on this side of the bag is a coax adapter kit, and this is the one that I picked up from Chat Radio. For 20 bucks, it is really, really difficult to beat this kit. Now, a lot of times I will pair it with another one of my coax adapter kits, but this one will get me out of 90% of the jams that I get myself into. Now, let's flip this thing over and take a look at the other side. And this is kind of the heart of the bag. We're going to go ahead and start on this side over here. What you'll see right up here in the top is just a little USB-A to USB-A. This is called the uh, Charger Doctor. This just lets me know how many volts and amps is being pulled through a USB device. So, very handy to have if you're trying to diagnose something. Next up, you're going to see a power pole splitter. So we got one power pole on this end to two power poles on this end. So if I happen to only have one live connection uh, with me, I can go ahead and take that one live connection and split it out into two separate power poles. Now, you will find duplicates of a lot of different things in this bag uh, because at one time or another, I've probably needed multiples of it. Just a very simple uh, power pole to power pole power cable. This one is, I believe, 12 gauge. You got 12 gauge wire, so it's a little thicker wire on this one. This is the only one I have that's got uh, this thick wire on it. In the next compartment over, let's take a look at this guy right here first. I believe it was temporarily offline that sent me this little device. It's just a power pole on both ends but it's fused in the middle. And yep, look at there. I didn't have identical fuses when I put this thing together, so I ended up using 130 and 125, so I'm gonna say 25 amps is the weak point. But this is just one of those good little items to have around if you don't have 
a fused connection already, you can put this in line and create your own fused connection. In addition to that, we've got another shorter power pole uh, extension cable there. And then we've got another USB-C to USB-C cable right here. I've definitely needed multiple USB-C cables in various configurations before, so you will see several of them in this bag. Next compartment over is USB-A to micro USB. I still run into the occasional micro USBs, and it's handy to have this cable in there when uh, I do run into those older devices. Please, everyone, migrate everything to USB-C so we can quit carrying around micro USB cables. Uh, last but not least over here on this side is yet another USB-C to USB-C cable. That one's a little bit shorter, so if I want to kind of manage my wire mess, that might help me out. Taking a look at the other side of the bag, right off the uh, top here, you're going to see two different power pole extension cables. So a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, depending on the needs, we can always connect these two together to make a really long one if that was the case. Probably not the best idea since I use smaller wire on those. Now, let's start taking a look at this. We'll finish up last with the mesh pocket down here. Right out of the gate, you're going to see two of these connectors in my bag. This is power poles on one side, and on the other is a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter, millimeter barrel connector. Can't talk this morning. And like I said, you're going to see one right there. You will see another one hiding out back here in this. I use these to charge radios primarily and the Evolve laptop with some adapters that we'll see in just a second. That's one of the things in the mesh uh, part of this bag. Let's see, over here we've got a USB-A to USB-C, so if it's uh, not USB-C on both ends, we can tackle it with that cable. Let's take a look at this little device. Now, I used this more when I was uh, really running Raspberry Pis a lot. I don't use this quite as much anymore, but it's been in here for so long that uh, I'm just going to leave it for the time being because occasionally it can come in handy. We've got power poles on this side, and it gives us two USB ports over here. So if you need 5 volts of power, this will take your 12 volts and convert it down to 5 volts. Uh, if you needed that in the field. Again, we see that second uh, power pole to barrel connector right here. Uh, we've got one last USB-A to USB-C cable over here. And then we've got these guys. These are a new addition for me. These are really cool. It's got the lever nuts on one end where you can just stick bare wire in there. This will clamp down and lock that wire off in place. The other side is MC4 connectors. So if I needed to make a field repair to a solar panel, this would allow me to get the job done without having to have the uh, MC4 crimpers with me. So that's why these live in this bag. Now, let me get this stuff out of the mesh compartment right here. And we've got all kinds of bits and bobs that do stay in that mesh compartment. First up, we've got a HDMI to HDMI. Uh, that's both full-size HDMIs on each end, just in case I need an HDMI cable. I do have it wrapped in a ferrite bead just to prevent any stray RF from getting into the system. Uh, it also gives me another ferrite bead if I needed it somewhere else. Now we've got all of these little bits and bobs that stay in there as well. Let's start with these guys right here. These are barrel connectors and these work with the 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter connectors that you've already seen inside. You can plug that in here and that adapts it down to a smaller barrel connector. These two are with the red tips. One of these uh, will work with the Evolve laptop. The other one works great with Kenwood radios. Both of the ones that have yellow on them will work with different Yaesu radios. So the VX6 will take these, the FT5, FT3 series of radios will take these, and the 818, 817 radios from Yaesu will both take these yellow adapters as well. So that gives me the ability to charge either, you know, one Kenwood and one Yaesu or two Yaesus. Whatever I need, I've got a couple of adapters to make that job happen. To go along with that HDMI cable that you saw earlier, 
is these two small adapters. They've got the full-size HDMI on one side, and then they've got mini HDMI and micro HDMI on the other ends. I believe that's what they're called anyway. So these will allow me to plug up. This one really is mainly for a Raspberry Pi. My laptops typically use this mini connector, and then I've got the full size on the other end. Whatever way I need to adapt it, this allows me to adapt it. Same thing for USB. This is USB-A to USB-C. This one is USB-C to USB-A. So if I do need a small adapter to get me from one to the other, I have that capability in this bag. Two last components here. Just like the MC4 repair kit, I also have the same thing for Anderson power poles. So we've got the lever nuts on one side and we got power poles on the other. Great little item to have in all of your kits in case you need to make a quick field repair. Last but not least is this little guy. And guys, I don't even remember where I came up with this. So don't look for a link down below. I've had this thing for years. You're able to plug this into any power pole connector. If it is a good connection wired properly, in other words, the leads aren't reversed, this light will go green. If by chance those leads are reversed, this LED will turn red. So it's a quick indication telling you that that is a good power pole connection before you plug your radio into it. So there's a look at my solutions bag. What did I leave out of it? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you found today's information helpful. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.